thought we were in love, but I don't see myself being with you ever, ever again. Bad relationship? Extract yourself from the situation by distancing yourself from the person. Extraction is simply the separation of a substance from one phase by another phase. In organic chemistry, we use extraction as one of the steps in isolating and purifying products from an organic chemistry reaction. There are two main types of extraction, liquid-liquid and chemically active. In liquid-liquid extraction, we use two immiscible liquid solvents, whereas in chemically active extraction, we actually chemically alter a compound, usually by an acid-base reaction, to change its solubility. In this video, we're focusing mainly on liquid-liquid extraction. After carrying out your organic reaction, your reaction mixture will consist of reaction solvent, inorganic compounds, organic compounds, and byproducts. Just as you like to hang out with friends who are similar to you, organic compounds like to associate with organic solvents, while inorganic or polar compounds tend to associate with aqueous solvents. When picking your extraction solvents, remember these two tips. The product you wish to extract should be soluble in only one of the two solvents, and these two solvents should be immiscible. Also, remember that organic solvents are volatile, so when performing extraction, remember to work in the hood. But what does being immiscible mean? Immiscibility means that the two solvents are not soluble in each other. In this demonstration, we've put hexanes and water on the left, and dichloromethane and acetone on the right. As you can see, even after vigorous stirring, the hexanes and water don't mix, while dichloromethane and acetone stay mixed with each other. The hexanes and water are said to be immiscible. Here's a table showing miscibility properties of different solvents. For example, methylene chloride, or dichloromethane, is miscible with ethanol but butanol and water are immiscible. Feel free to pause the video and look at the table more carefully. Another factor to be aware of before extraction is density. You should look up the densities of the solvents you're using before you begin your extraction. Usually, the denser solvent should be on the bottom during extraction. This is really important, especially when you're trying to keep track of which layer your product is in. Also, you want to make sure that you're labeling your organic and aqueous layers properly. Here's a table showing some common densities of organic solvents. Dichloromethane, for example, has a density of 1.325 grams per milliliter, and hexanes have a density of 0.695 grams per milliliter. This means that during an extraction, if we used these two solvents, we would expect to see dichloromethane as the bottom layer. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a look at this table more carefully.